I'm Gina. I am a mom who was told I could never have kids, but through God's goodness, I have two biological kids with my husband. And we've also opened our home up to foster kids and have two foster kids in our home right now, one of who is being adopted. We've always centered our home around love. And so at some point, it just felt natural to be able to show our love to others. And God just put a real passion in our hearts for kids who don't have a home where they can feel loved and safe and secure. So we felt like we had so much love to give as a family. But there's a lot going on in a home with kids and to add even more adds more busyness and frustration and impatience. And sometimes prayers are short in the midst of craziness and chaos in the home, as in just Jesus help me. But God is the one who gives us this whole purpose and meaning and what we're doing. And he ultimately is the one who gives us the full strength. I look back at a lot of the things that go on in our home and things we've been through, and I know I couldn't do any of it without his strength. God made me a mom even though he knew I wouldn't be a perfect mom, even though he knew I would get angry, that I would yell, that I would get frustrated with them and just need to be away from them. And he made me a mom anyways. And I think he knew that I would love them with all my heart. And I know that when my love doesn't feel like enough that I'm pointing them to God's love and that God's love will be enough for them. There's so many moments that we just get to enjoy each other. I get to watch my older kids playing with the kids that are younger that we've brought into our home and they fully enjoy each other and I can enjoy them. And it just brings joy and happiness to my soul, truly. To all my fellow moms and those who are waiting, in spite of all the overwhelming tiredness and even the overwhelming joy, I just pray that you would find God's strength and that he would sustain you and that his love would fill our homes and our hearts. Happy Mother's Day.